Oxidation number. Objective. State the rules for assigning oxidation numbers. Assign oxidation numbers to identify elements that are oxidized or reduced. Oxidation numbers. Oxidation numbers are values assigned to elements of reactants and products to help us identify the atom or ions that are oxidized, losing electrons, or reduced, gaining electrons. The oxidation number is the charge of the atom or ion. For example, calcium has an oxidation number of zero. It loses two electrons to become plus two. Its oxidation number in a compound CAS is plus two. While sulfur in its free state has oxidation number of zero, it lost two electrons to have an oxidation number of minus two. Rule number one, oxidation number for an atom of an uncombined element, monatomic or diatomic is zero. For example, sodium, a free element has an oxidation number of zero. Neon, zero. Oxygen, a diatomic element, has an oxidation number of zero. Chlorine, another diatomic, has an oxidation number of zero. Or even an element that does not have monatomic or diatomic configuration. For example, sulfur is made up of eight atoms. It also has an oxidation number of zero. Rule number two. The oxidation number of a monatomic ion is equal to the charge of the ion. For example, sodium have a 1 plus charge, therefore its oxidation number is plus 1. Calcium have a 2 plus charge, its oxidation number is plus 2. Oxygen has a 2 minus charge, its oxidation number is minus 2. While bromine has a 1 minus charge, its oxidation number is minus 1. Rule number 3. Oxidation numbers of group 1, 2, metals, and aluminum are positive and it's always equal to the number of their valence electrons when bonded to other elements. For example, the oxidation number of K, potassium, which is found in group one, it's always plus one. Magnesium, always found in group two, has an oxidation number of plus two. While aluminum, found in group 13, and it has three valence electron, has an oxidation number of plus three. Rule number four, the oxidation number of the most electronegative element fluorine is always negative one when it's bonded with another element. For example, lithium fluoride, the fluorine has an oxidation number of minus one. Calcium fluoride, the fluorine has an oxidation number of minus one. Rule number five, the oxidation number of oxygen in compounds is always minus two except in peroxides, such as hydrogen peroxide, H2O2, where it is negative one. Here we have NO, the oxygen has an oxidation number of minus two. Next, we have the peroxide, H2O2. Since it's a peroxide, the oxygen has an oxidation number of minus one. When it's bonded with fluorine, the only element more electronegative than oxygen the oxidation number of oxygen is positive. In this example, we have OF2, where the oxidation number for oxygen in this example is plus two. Rule number six, oxidation number of hydrogen in most of its compounds is plus one, except in metal hydrides, then the oxidation number is minus one. In the example, we have water, oxygen is always minus two, we have two hydrogen, each hydrogen contributing a plus one. Next, we have HCl, chlorine is minus one, therefore the hydrogen has to be plus one. Then we move on to the metal hydrides. It's hydrogen bonded to a metal. Sodium is in group one and has a charge of plus one, therefore the hydrogen has a minus one oxidation number. Calcium is found in group two, has an oxidation number of plus two, therefore we need two hydrogen to balance it, each hydrogen contributing a minus one oxidation number. Rule number seven, the sum of oxidation numbers in a neutral compound is zero. For example, magnesium has a plus two charge, oxygen has a minus two charge. Adding them up, we have zero. 
calcium chloride. Calcium has a plus 2, chlorine has a minus 1. Since there are two chlorine, when we sum it up, we have a net charge of 0. Carbon dioxide. Carbon can have multiple oxidation states, for example, minus 4, plus 2, or plus 4. Let's work it out. Oxygen has a minus 2, there are two of them, which gives a net charge of minus 4. Therefore, carbon has an oxidation number of plus 4. Rule number 7 continues. The oxidation number in neutral compounds is 0. Here we have KMnO4. K has a plus 1 charge since it's found in group 1, but Mn has multiple oxidation states. So we need to solve for Mn. Oxygen is always minus 2, except for fluorine. Here we have 4 oxygen. Total, the oxidation state for Mn is plus 7. Next, we have KNO3. K has a plus 1 charge. Nitrogen has multiple oxidation states. Oxygen is always minus 2. We have 3 of them, which results in a minus 6. Adding it all up, we have nitrogen is equal to plus 5 oxidation state. Rule number 8. The sum of oxidation numbers of the atoms in a polyatomic ion is equal to the charge of the ion. In this example, we have sulfate, SO4, 2 minus. If we were to add all the oxidation states, we should have a net charge of minus 2. Sulfur has multiple oxidation states, so we need to solve for sulfur. Oxygen has a minus 2. There are 4 oxygens, which results in minus 8. Adding the sulfur plus the oxygen should result in minus 2. Solving for sulfur, we have plus 6. The oxidation state for sulfur is plus 6. Next, we have C2O4, 2 minus. Carbon can have multiple oxidation states. Solving for the carbon, we have a plus 3 charge. Even though it's not on the chemistry reference table as a plus 3 oxidation state for carbon, it can still exist. Please be aware of this. Rule number 9. The oxidation number of the more electronegative atom in a molecule or a complex ion is the same as a charge as if it were an ion. For example, NO. Oxygen is more electronegative, therefore it will have a minus 2 charge, resulting in nitrogen having a plus 2 charge. NH3. Nitrogen is more electronegative than hydrogen, therefore it has a minus 3 charge. Therefore, each hydrogen has a plus 1 charge or oxidation number. Practice question. Determine the oxidation number of sulfur in Na2S2O3. Sodium is found in group 1, so it has an oxidation number of plus 1. There are two sodiums. Oxygen has an oxidation number of minus 2. There are three oxygens. And we have two sulfur. The total sum should be equal to 0. Solving for sulfur, we have it is equal to plus 2. Thank you.